the Indian government has made a provision called the Public Distribution System or PDS to supply them essential goods at reasonable prices. In this chapter, we will learn about the meaning, objectives, progress, advantages and drawbacks of the PDS and remedial measures for the drawbacks. We will also learn about consumer protection and food adulteration. Public Distribution System or PDS is a food security system launched by the Government of India. Through this system, food items like wheat, rice, sugar etc. as well as non-food items like clothes, kerosene etc. are distributed among poor and needy people. The central and state governments share the responsibility of regulating the public distribution system. The central government is responsible for storage, transportation and allocation of food grains, whereas state governments hold the responsibility for distributing the food grains through fair price shops. State governments are also responsible for operational activities like identification of families below poverty line or BPL, allotment of ration cards, supervision of the functioning of fair price shops, etc. There are two main objectives of public distribution system. To provide essential goods to the consumers at reasonable and subsidized prices. To maintain minimum nutritional status of the population. Thus, public distribution system helps to put an indirect check on the open market prices of essential goods. Progress of Public Distribution System The public distribution system came into existence soon after the Bengal famine in 1943. The offtake from public distribution system was 19 million tons in 1991-92 but recently it has declined. It is because the difference between the open market prices of wheat, rice etc and prices determined by public distribution system is reduced. Targeted Public Distribution System Since June 1997, a dual pricing structure was introduced under Targeted Public Distribution System. The target was to distribute food grains at reasonable prices to the families above poverty line and at very low prices to the families below poverty line. A ration card is essential to obtain food grains through public distribution system. It has a reference of number of family members and accordingly food grains are supplied through particular fair price shop. The government of Maharashtra provides a ration card of a particular color as per the economic status. Generally, white ration card is given to those families whose annual income is more than rupees 1 lakh. They are excluded from the benefits of PDS due to high economic status. An orange ration card is provided to those families whose annual income limit is from 25,000 to 1 lakh. They get 5 kilograms rice, 5 kilograms wheat and 2 liters kerosene per month at lower rates than market rates. Families below poverty line have yellow ration card. They get 25 kilograms rice and 10 kilograms wheat every month at a subsidized rate. Two schemes are available under PDS. Under Antyodaya scheme, very poor people are provided with the food grain at lowest prices. Under Niradhar Yojana, senior citizens below poverty line are provided 10 kilograms rice free of cost per month. The advantages of public distribution system are 
It helps to supply subsidized food grain to poor people. It provides employment to fair price shop owners, their employees, and other related workers. It reduces poverty and economic inequality. The drawbacks of public distribution system are limited benefits to poor. Under PDS, food grains are provided on the basis of ration card, which is issued on the basis of residential address. So, seasonal migrant workers and homeless people are not able to get its benefits. Regional disparities. Some regions are well developed, while some are less developed. In some states, larger number of families are below poverty line. But the purchase of food grain through PDS is less, indicating that most people do not enjoy the benefits of PDS. Urban bias. Nearly 75% fair price shops are in the rural areas, but the offtake of food grains through PDS is more in urban area. This is because lack of efficient transport system in villages does not allow food grains and kerosene to reach fair price shops in rural areas. Inefficient Food Corporation of India It is the duty of Food Corporation of India to supply food grains for distribution through fair price shops. But excess stock of food grains is not stored properly, creating scarcity of food grains in spite of increase in production. Remedial measures for the drawbacks of the public distribution system. Food banks. It is essential to establish food banks and to modernize go-downs in every state to store food grains properly. Extension of the coverage of PDS. The coverage of PDS has to be extended so that no needy person will be deprived from the benefits of PDS. Restructure of PDS Rationing officers must visit fair price shops frequently to check various malpractices and understand problems. It is necessary to eliminate bogus ration cards by raids of flying squads. Cost of handling goods and transport cost has to be reduced. Consumer protection a consumer is defined as a person who acquires goods and services for direct use or ownership. Consumers sometimes do not feel satisfied from their purchases due to following malpractices. Sale of adulterated goods, sale of defective goods, use of false weights and measures, hoarding and black marketing, charging more than the maximum retail price or MRP, misleading advertisements. As consumers have to be protected from the loss caused on account of defective goods and unsatisfactory services, consumer protection is a legal provision to ensure the rights of consumers. Rights of a consumer In India, the Consumer Protection Act or CPA was passed in 1986 and it came into force from 1st July 1987. The main objectives of Consumer Protection Act Providing better and all-round protection to consumers Making provisions for a simple and speedy machinery for redressal of consumers' grievances The Consumer Protection Act provides a statutory recognition to following rights of consumers. A. Right to safety. The consumers should be protected against goods and services which are hazardous to health. For example, protection from defective vehicles, inferior electrical appliances, harmful pesticides, etc. B. Right to be informed. The consumer must be provided with accurate information about quality, purity, price, quantity and the standard of the goods and services.
C. Right to choose. Consumers have the right to make a choice from variety of goods and services as per their purchasing power and preferences. D. Right to be heard. Consumers have the right to be heard by manufacturers and dealers about their opinions on production. E. Right to seek redressal. The consumers have the right to seek redressal of their grievances related to price and quality of goods and services. If required, the product must be repaired or replaced by the seller or manufacturer. The consumer's redressal agencies include the District Forum, the State Commission and the National Commission. F. Right to consumer education. The consumers must know about the relevant laws to prevent unfair trade practices and to follow the procedure while making complaint. G. Right to clean environment. Everyone has the right to enjoy pollution-free environment. If anybody creates pollution by means of garbage, air, water, noise,